A Twitter storm of allegations about inappropriate verbal comments to women by Minister of Sport Kent Hare led to his suspension from Cabinet today. Let's get the latest on this late-breaking late story from CTV Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier. Joyce, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell us what brought this, this suspension on. Um, well, as you know, the Prime Minister is in Davos, Switzerland at the Economic Forum, and he gave a final press conference. At this press conference, he was asked about these tweets. So like there's... We have some of them, by the exactly. way. Exactly. So, so there's a public, a, an Alberta public servant who started tweeting, and this is one of them. Um, she, she writes, my first day working at the Alberta legislature, I was told to avoid being in an elevator with Kent Hare. He would make comments. He would make you feel unsafe. And she goes on and on. There's a series of tweets. Yep. And so the prime minister was asked about it. What are you going to do about Kent Hare? And the prime minister said, you know, this kind of behavior is unacceptable. This was this morning, our time. And he said, you will hear from me before the end of the day, before I take off, because he's leaving Switzerland as we speak. And so literally, uh, as the plane's wheels were lifting off, uh, the word came out. What did the prime minister have to say? Well, he wrote, uh, obviously, he said he accepted Kent Hare's uh, resignation from cabinet pending the outcome of an investigation. In the meantime, Kent Hare will sit as a member of parliament, unspecified whether he's still a liberal yeah. or not. I thought that uh, was really interesting. Point, yes, you know, he's a there. Calgary MP. Yeah, I thought that was interesting huh. too. He didn't specify that he was continuing to sit as a liberal MP, mm. but he's sitting, he will continue his job in parliament. Um, you know, what's, what's interesting is that there were previous sort of problems with Kent Hare. Yeah. You remember what he told victims of thalidomide. thalidomide. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, everybody has a, a sob story. Uh, he also, you know, kind of misspoke, I guess we could say, with um, the wife of a soldier who had PTSD. She mm -hmm. went to him when he was Veterans, Veterans Affairs right. Minister and was hoping for sympathy and didn't get it. Well, I should point out that it was actually other women that tweeted as well. So it wasn't just a, a one-off. But Ken Hare has issued a statement, and I'll just read a, a little bit of it. He says, the conversation on our side is having, we're having is a very important one. I encourage all women who felt uncomfortable, who have experienced harassment of any kind, to continue to come forward. It's never OK. He says, throughout my career, I've always tried to conduct myself with respect towards others. And I understand the most important thing is how each individual feels. So I guess the bottom line here is suspension investigation, does he ever come back? Well, if, you know, if I was a betting person, I would say no. My money would go on no, he mm -hmm. won't come back. Uh, suspension is less harsh than perhaps other actions the prime minister could have taken. Um, so there's an investigation because, you know, it's an open secret. Yeah. And I know this place is a bed of gossip, right. but there was... You know, there was a lot of talk about that. It's gossip. It's is it founded but or unfounded? But there's a pattern of conduct here, though, yes. that I'm sure the prime minister is probably happier he's out rather than in. And the... he's had to apologize in the House of Commons right. and outside of the House of Commons. You know, for any government, it is an embarrassment. Right. Okay, Joyce. Thanks for the update. We appreciate You're this. You're welcome. All right.